back on the AT here in Hot Springs, headed out, getting ready to climb. That's the thing about places like this is you get down in them and you got to get back up out of them. So that's what we're going to do. Catch you in a bit. What's up guys, on this uh, nice gravel road. Wow, this is really nice. <laughs> oh man, getting ready to start climbing again. Uh, plan for the day, pushed a little laurel shelter, which is gonna be about 20 miles for the day. Uh, so I'm going to keep on walking through here and I'll come back to you in a bit. Change of plans. Not going to Little Laurel Shelter as originally expected. Uh, I'm going to get picked up down here at this uh, gap and I'm going to the Hemlock Hollow Hostel. I think I said that right. So, eh, I just want to. <laughs> I just want to go. So uh, I think they got some food, some drinks and stuff. So just want to check it out. It's going to be a 16 mile day. Feeling good. I know I got another four left in me, uh, but kind of got a late start today out of hot springs. So just going to get picked up down here, go and eat some decent food and uh, call it a night head up uh, out, of, out of there in the morning towards Irwin got about uh, 50, 50 miles or so so uh, all right gonna go ahead and wrap it up and I'll see you in the morning take care what's up y'all Coming to you with a video update for the day. Haven't videoed at all, mainly because there's nothing to see and it's been raining basically all day. It's uh, two o'clock now. Rain stopped about an hour ago. So uh, I've done almost 12 miles getting ready to summit Big Butt Mountain, and uh, pretty much gonna be a descent from there down to um, Flint Mountain Shelter. So that's the plan. That's where I will be heading. Uh, be a 17 mile day for me. I did cross the 300 mile mark back a mile or two ago. So that's cool. That's made the day not so bad. Uh, it's not really been a bad day. It's just, 
you know, hiking in the rain. And it's been tough. A lot of rocks and stuff. I've slid several times, even fallen uh, a time or two. So uh, I'm just trying to kind of watch where I, where I step and stuff. Everything's real slick. But anyway, that's uh, the update. Um, last night I stayed in the Hemlock Hollow bunkhouse. I was the only one there and it was very nice. She's, uh, the lady runs a really nice place down there and uh, I was happy to have a good cozy bed, although I wasn't that happy waking up and heading out in the rain this morning. But anyway, I'll come back to you guys in a bit, maybe with a couple videos of the trail and kind of what I've been dealing with today. So, all right. See you in a bit. What's up guys? I made it to Flint Mountain Shelter for the rest of the evening and night. Happy to be here, happy to be somewhat dry. It's been a very dreary day out on the trail. It's been rough, uh, steady drizzle all day long and made the conditions just rough. Um, I, I slipped several times, even fell on my butt a couple times and I hadn't done that in uh, the whole 300 miles up to this point, up to today. So uh, <laughs> it was rough, it was slick. But I'm here at the shelter now. I'm the only one here. I got my stuff drying out and I've got a little snack. So uh, really, I didn't video at all today. Um, it's just, you know, been so dreary that I really, there wasn't anything to see and I really didn't feel like doing it. So, uh, but I figured while I got my food out and stuff, and I uh, really have nothing else better to do. I'll show you a few things that I'm eating on the trail and what I like. Um, for lunch and dinner, I guess you could call it that, I like to have some jerky, uh, get a couple bags of it. Um, I always try to keep either jerky or pepperoni with me. I like both uh, just fine. And I'll snack around on that. I always have a jar of peanut butter as well. I'll take a couple spoonfuls and just eat that. Um, also, what I really like, my favorite, probably my favorite food out here, and what it, what's worked the best for me um, so far is the Gatorade uh, protein bars. These things got 20 grams of protein, and I take them and dip them in this peanut butter. Whew, it's good. Uh, you know, it's probably not that good, but uh, it seems really good out here. So that's kind of what I eat during the day, um, you know. And then uh, for breakfast, I usually have a, have a cereal bar or two and then a, a packet of oatmeal. I don't have a stove anymore, um, so I just pour some water in it. It's instant oatmeal, stir it up, eat it. And I know you guys are probably thinking, no, oh, gosh, you're crazy, but it's really not that bad. So uh, I enjoy that. Um, also, at, just for snacks and stuff, I got the uh, trail mix, pretty good. Um, and then I got some, uh, a bag of raisins. Uh, I like raisins. Never thought I would like raisins, but I started liking them more and more. And then just a little bag of snacks, gum, Jolly Ranchers, stuff to, to munch on while I'm on the trail. So that's pretty much got it. And, uh, yep, that's what I eat. I just, I like to eat enough stuff out here on the trail to just get me to the next town. That's all. When I resupply, that's what I think about. I just... Uh, think okay, what's gonna get me to the next town? Where can I eat a good meal? And uh, I just get this stuff, and it keeps me out on the trail. So anyway, um, got about 30, 35 miles to Irwin, Tennessee, and that'll be our, that'll be my next stop. <sighs> was looking to was looking to get there, and um, let's see, today's Saturday. I was looking to get there on Monday. 
still is a possibility and I might do it uh, or I might take the next two days, ease up a bit and then, uh, you know, do a low mileage day into Irwin and then just stay in Irwin for the day. Um, that's what, that's kind of what I like to do, uh, when I know I'm going into a town. So, um, it's probably what I'll try to do, but anyway, I'll come back in the morning. Hopefully it'll be sunny and bright and beautiful, but I'm not counting on it. I mean, it could be, I don't know. Um, I don't have any service here, so I can't check, check the weather, but I know it's supposed to rain for, uh, today, tomorrow maybe even Monday, so who knows? I'll come back in the morning though, night. Good morning, guys. Leaving Flint Mountain Shelter about nine o'clock. It rained all night and it's rained all morning and it's raining now. <laughs> the trail is a mess. A muddy, soggy mess, and uh, conditions don't look like they're going to improve any today. So that's going to be another probably limited video day, and uh, you know that's all right. But going to try to squeak in about 18 miles. Um, that's where Big Bald Shelter is, and that's where I want to get to. So, going to see if we can't make it happen. All right, I'll come back to you guys in a bit. All right, guys, it has rained on and off all day. I'm here at Sam's Gap, about mile 220. Uh, I got here just a little bit ago and got some awesome trail magic. Gatorade, chips, fruit. Wow, what a boost, man. What a boost. Um, but plan is to head up uh, up to Big Bald and then down to uh, Bald Shelter, Big Bald Shelter. Uh, it's about 7.8 miles from here. It's going to be a pretty uh, pretty tough uphill, I believe, and it's four, so going to have to cover some ground. But that's the plan. All right, I'll come back. Um, hopefully when I get to Big Bald. mountain shelter <sighs> wow rough day 19 miles in uh, some rough conditions the trail is just a swamp but whew, happy to be here and uh, hope to get to Irwin tomorrow evening so all right I'll come back in the morning see you good morning guys leaving Bald mountain shelter Headed to Irwin, Tennessee. Mile uh, 335. So.
So we got a little ways to go this morning. And today, got to get in about 17 miles. I think we can do it. Uh, right now, it's real foggy, as you can see behind me. So I'm not going to do too much videoing. Uh, but just got to get to Irwin. That's the goal. So see you in a bit. What's up, y'all? Coming to you from Uncle Johnny's Hostel right here in Irwin, Tennessee. I've got my own little private cabin for the night, and uh, I went ahead and just got it for tomorrow night. I'm just gonna take a zero. Um, <clears throat> I need some, need a little R and R after these past couple of days, man. It's been rough out there on the trail, and uh, my feet, my feet themselves, they could just use, uh, they could just use some R and R. So. Uh, we're gonna get it and we're gonna get it right here in Irwin. Uh, we've got uh, this private little cabin, got Netflix, and um, just chilling to kick back. So it's been a rough couple of days, but I'm happy to be here and uh, happy that uh, you know all is well. A uh, real sad situation happened up in Virginia over the weekend with uh, with some. Uh, you know, uh, attacks on the trail up there. Uh, very, very sad. And, um, you know, my heart and prayers go out to uh, everybody involved in that bad deal. But uh, anyway, just going to chill out here for the rest of the night and tomorrow. And then get back on the trail, get up to Hampton. All right. Take care, guys. Out. Out.